Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we are going to create, um, we're going to take the main board or the motherboard and we're going to go ahead and add our components to it before we put it inside the case. Okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to do the video card first. Okay, so I go ahead and fold it. I fold my tabs up on the bottom. In this case, we're folding the tabs actually out. Okay. Okay, we're also pulling the tabs on the front out. Okay. Um, I did actually forget to uh, cut out the front of the video card, so let's do that now. Okay, so that's the front of the video card. So let's go ahead and tape the front of the video card on, and then we're going to go ahead and insert the video card into the uh, slot on the motherboard. Okay, so there we have it. And we're just going to tape that around just like that so we can see the front of the, the video card. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put that into the slot. Notice that I've cut, uh, wherever there are scissors on the motherboard, I've gone ahead and cut the slots in there. Okay, so we're going to have you put the tabs through, the tabs of the video card through the motherboard, just like this. And you might find that they're a little bit small, which is okay. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and open the tabs up. It's actually might be easier just to fold it one way than the other. So if you go ahead and put it down on the bottom there and then just put a piece of tape in and then stand it back up, uh, that's, that's the finished version of, uh, of the actual uh, video card. So there it is standing up off the motherboard. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the RAM. Okay, so we just fold each stick of RAM in half, just like this, uh, and there are four sticks of RAM. Okay, so this is going to represent one gig um, per stick of RAM, okay, or random access memory. Um, now all RAM is going to look a little bit different, but they all kind of come in the same configuration. They all kind of look the same. So um, let's go ahead and put our first stick in. Okay, if we can just slide it through, or go on the back and tape it. careful not to not to uh, tape over the other slots okay there's there's one of our sticks in okay, and then we're going to do the next one okay, and it's fairly simple you just put it right right into the slot uh, tape it down flat and then stand it up does get a little bit tight, you know, just remember that the important thing is that we get all the sticks of RAM in there, okay? So once it's like that, we just go ahead and stand it up again, okay? So we're going to look something like this. Okay, we're going to put the next uh, stick of RAM in. Now, of course, this doesn't give you the feeling of actually putting RAM into a system. It's actually, you might be surprised at the amount of pressure that it can take to plug things into these sockets. A lot of these sockets are meant to, you know, hold things kind of permanently. And as a result, you know, it can take a bit of force to put RAM in, not too much. Um, you can end up breaking things, but, you know, it does take a little bit of experience to know how much force is too much and how much force is too little. Okay, so we got our last stick of RAM here and we're almost done. Okay, that's it on our sticks of RAM. We just take the last one in. Okay, so now we have our RAM and our RAM slots. Okay, and now we are ready to do, um, kind of bend them up here to make it look more realistic. There we go. Okay, so that's our RAM and our RAM slots. Next thing we're gonna do is the CPU. Now the CPU is a, is a whole system in and of itself. Okay, so 
when you buy when you purchase a motherboard, the manual that comes with the motherboard was going to tell you all about how to put the CPU and CPU fan on. We're also missing a power supply for the CPU fan. Okay, now we had to simplify this just a little bit. So that's one of the things we did to simplify. Okay, so in this case, you know, you would, you know, there's a whole uh, procedure for putting a CPU on, which is not just this. So I folded the CPU in half. You know, this shows you. You can actually see the pins on the bottom of the CPU. And those are realistic pins. You should try to line them up. Um, okay, with the with the motherboard. We're going to go ahead and put the fan on. The fan should stick up off the motherboard, so we just kind of fold these tabs down. A little bit too small to actually make it a 3D object, so we're just going to stand it up off the board just like that and just put a small piece of tape on to hold it. Okay, one side. I'm not sure we really need to do all four sides on this. Um, can if you want. Okay, so we've got our we've got our CPU fan on there, okay, with a CPU underneath. So there's our fan, okay. And then finally, we're going to add our ports. Now, this is a case where the the motherboard, all of the pieces we put on thus far, you would have actually assembled as you're putting together the motherboard. Um, now, depending on the motherboard, you know, depending on how the motherboard attaches to the the case or the chassis, you might. Um, you might do this all outside the case first, then put it in. It might be easier. It might be a case where you have to put the motherboard in the case first. So that's a that's a case by case basis. Okay. So now what we have here is uh, we're just going to go ahead and put. Do you, do you notice if you see these little boxes right here? These boxes would be standing up off the motherboard, and these are the ports that would be represented by those boxes. So in this case, which all you want to do is just go ahead and line it up. It should be spaced appropriately. Okay, so you just want to line it up with the edge of the, uh, the paper there. Okay, so that's our completed motherboard. Okay, so if you look at, fr at it from the side, let's go ahead and put it inside the case. Okay, so we're going to take this. It's going to fit in the back of the case if you look back here. Okay, so we're actually going to put it in just like this. And you'll notice that the motherboard and the, uh, you can see the, you look at the side of it, you can see that the ports and the, um, the video card will line up with the back here. Um, it might not line up exactly right, um, but it will come pretty close. Okay, so we just go ahead and tape this on. Of course, this would all be put on with screws if you're actually doing it. Um, but we can go ahead and uh, just go ahead and tape this on. So it looks very realistic. <coughs> Okay, so there we have it. So our motherboard is installed now. So we have our all the ports that you would normally see on the computer. You have your video card ports on the back. And then inside we have all the different components that are attached to the motherboard. Okay, good luck.